Maze, kama kawaida, good vibes from Zege Delonger and the Fusion Music Star. Karibuni sana and thank you for joining us for yet another classic episode of the show. I'm your host, Dr. King Ori Maze. This is one of those episodes of Naitanka Cocktail. Our main su subject has been inspired by an incident that has been widely talked about across the country. Sidani kuna mtu ajaona hii picha hii building ilianguka kino this week. Na kuna watu wamesema ati this is love, ati no need for a fuss. Ati this is just two buildings hugging each other. Don't mind them. <laughs> Don't mind the mountain stalker so as he had. But beyond the jokes, <laughs> beyond the jokes, this is, a not, this is not an isolated incident. We've had a lot of cases of buildings collapsing or sinking in different parts of the country. And that is how I got introduced to a TikTok account here, Jama Moja, and it was Kevin Kamau Moshai, who even before the incident has been on a mission to call out poor workmanship in the construction sector. And this is what he said about sp your building ilianguka specifically. Nini lifanya yo nyumba ilianguke ama isink? Labda! Haiku wana geotechnical report. Ndi yo client advisiwe venye ata strengthen yo foundation. Sawa. So, walifanya kazi chafu. Mazemi ni kiyo shule siyezi penda kuchapu wana msee kama kevo. Misi jui, misi injinia wa huko. Mazemi msaki kutoka. Mzaki kutoka hivyo kwa ngori unajua, eh hey, noma, well, nilingia kwa account yake, nikapata kumbe mazia mekua kichanua watu juwezi vitu kutoka kitambo. Aha, mafundi wengine manze wa cheni kufanyia watu hivyo, wa cheni uchawi, hii ni uchawi. Yani unatakatu nyumba mtu wakiingia hivyo wangukia ama ni nini. Alafu utakuja wanze kufunika na plaster atia. Aseme ati kazi ilikuwa muzuri. Just because mtu wa yuko around, unamfanyia kazi mbaya bana. Ah, manze huyu ni mtu mmoja mekosewa mbaya sana. Ona tu venye, zinatoka, ona honeycomb, ona chuma ziliko exposed. Ah! I saw the passion and we felt the need to have him on the show. Ndu ile siku utamua kujenga, ama kama ukona kitu na jenga sahi, ama kama usha jenga ujue vile uneza voida sara kama hii. So when I called Kevin, nikapata kumbi ya kona project imianza na kuru. Fortunately, he offered to travel for the show and it is for that sacrifice. Kevin Kamau Moshai is in the house! Ah, mazi. Asante sana, we'll be talking to him in a bit. But first, a lot of drama for one week, mazi. Our Bungoma people have done it again. Kuna mtu alihang kwa chopa tena this week. What are we all? What are we all? Yay! Ame endia chopa! Ame endia chopa! What are we all? Ame ame shika chopa! Mwaze, kwani Bungoma people only have one idea on how to get high? <laughs> Hanging on a chopper. Mwaze, but sadly, when you think about it, it's very sad that that's probably the only way politicians wengine wanaweza inuwa mwananchi wakawaida mashinani. <laughs> no, for real. Haters will have a field day with this one. Moving forward, ita kwa ngumu sana kumaliza ile stereotype ya vile waluya wanapenda ndeza. <laughs> ikuwe fry, ikuwe ya kufly, Bungoma... <laughs> The difference is the same. Now, on his side, the guy claimed ati alikuwa naongea na mweshimiwa muachie kakitu. Now, think about it. Mweshimiwa, as in, ati niachie kakitu, mpaka unabebo na ndege yende. Mweshimiwa, nika yadijitetea sana, mweshimiwa kawambia ngoje watoke kwa ground. Now, that's only in Kenya. Imagine ukiwa kwa ndege maze. Now, think about it. Asi wakipa fekiti kitu. Imagine ukiwa kwa ndege alafu usikia mtu wakino kutidisha. Ati kahandi dunia jia ta muzi ni kido kwa ni kule ni ni kule kideri. By the way, by the come to think of it, unajua this could be one way to look at the earthquake that Mudava dia di promise. The ground shaking what waki agua kutoka kwa mandege Western Kenya. Now, for argument sake, to say me basi wange fika uko ju halafu mhesha mpati thau ndi akubali kuachiri ya chopa. Asinampe yo thau ndi afike kwa ground aski evile kuku. 
vile health ni unaffordable jua hiyo thao akienda hosi ya bebe ya pelvis transplant gall bladder repair and any other damages anaweza kuwa amepata lucky for him alishuka mapema in other news the US this week United States announced that they have banned former Nairobi governor Mike Sonko and his immediate family from visiting the US. Today US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is announcing the public designation of former Nairobi governor Mike Sonko Gideon Mbuvi Kioko due to his involvement in significant corruption. Now the story has elicited mixed reactions wengine wanasema oh it's weird vile wanakata masonko uh, kuingia US but inakubali mahasla waingie. <laughs> Is the United States taking sides? I don't know. What I found interesting is the reason Sonko and his family were given for the ban at the involvement in significant corruption. We have never paid attention to that. So there is significant corruption and insignificant corruption. Wow. So we set out to find out what insignificant corruption entails and you will be shocked most of us are guilty. If the, if the U.S. will talk to event organizers to release the list of mothers who hide food for their children, how many butchers would make it to America if the U.S. decided to investigate the meat-to-bone ratio kwa nyama kuota? Mtu wala kuwekeaje nyama ya 50. Mtu wala kuwekeaje mfupa ya 50 kwa nyama ya 70. I make sense. Makondaktas masegari ni 40 bobu kiwa inje ukingi andani ni mia. Corruption. These are things we need to change if you ever want to travel to America in future. We shall to one example na Sonko. Now, one of the highlights of this week uh, is this building in Kino, yenye uh, ilianguka and we can all agree that this is a trend that needs to be stopped. Let's go straight to the conversation of what happens and um, how this happens and how we can stop that trend moving forward. Our guest for this episode has covered this on social media severally. Kujenga nyumba standard campaign tunafanya kazi safi na kama uwezi kazi safi tunafanya nini tunakutoa mbio tunakutoa mbio I think kevo ndio madocho wa mjengo Now uh, we feel we felt the need to have this conversation on a national platform and this is one of the episodes that will save you money and possibly your life Let's cross over to the other end of this short, short commercial short commercial break short commercial break see you guys in a bit Ah, wanze, welcome back to the weekly edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingoria Santi Sana, for joining us. Leo tumewaletea adui wakazi chafu kwa mjei. And uh, when I was introduced to him, one thing that stood out for me ni the fact that uh, in his videos, you can check out his profile, uh, ko active sana TikTok, and it was Kevin Kamau Moshai. Anasema, you can actually test na ujue kama nyumba enye unaishi, inaeza anguka. Kevin Kamau Moshai is in the house! Yeah! Karibu sana, karibu sana. Mnajua show kama hizi zenye tunaletanga mtu kwa sababu ya hiyo level of expertise na kuangaza kuchachisha sana. Kevo karibu sana. Asante sana. Mimi nauliza for selfish reasons. Yes. Naweza nataka kujua ukitembelea mtu utajuaje gorofa yao imejengwa poa just in case especially election period at Mudavadi alikuwa anapitia mali. As in how do you know? <laughs> how, how do you tell? How do you tell that uko safe mali maze gorofa yao yenyewe sianguke na wewe? Uh, kuna tu vitu unaweza fanya. Yes. Uh, unaweza amua sasa ukifika kwa, kwa, kwa building kabla we, we rent for example yes. unaruka kwa slab ukisikia kitu ina vibrate unaruka eh, ruka. unaruka ukisikia ina vibrate sana eh hiyo unafaa utoke juu eh, structural engineer na kuanga me design such that ame consider load yako which is live load ya furniture's live load alafu kuna dead load dead load ni hiyo ya kokoto yenyewe yenye yes. kokoto yenye inabeba hiyo uzito Yes. So anakonga me consider hizo vitu zote. Sasa wewe unaenda unaruka unasikia ina vibrate kuna shida. Unaona no, ifai ku vibrate juu structural engineer alikuwa ameshafanya kila kitu hesabu zake calculations zilikuwa poa. So kuna shida hapo. Kuna kuna neiba fulani alikuwa juu yangu nikistepa ngo yeah. nilikuwa nasikia hiyo du 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 usiku sana. Mm. So ni slab alikuwa na test. <laughs> Sinaweza kwa ni integrity ya building alikuwa na test. Unajua pia alikuwa ataka kujua kama tuko safe, si ndio? Kuna pia. Sio hizo vitu nilikuwa nafikiria, si ndio? Kuna pia. Kuna pia sound proofing. Kuna sound proofing. Kuna unaweza sikia kuna vyenye mtu unaweza sikia kadogo, si sana. Kuna vyenye tu unaweza sikia juu ya sound proofing. So ndio watu wasisikia labda huko chini wanatumia anga zile hollow ports. Ukitumia holopot sauti ukiwa uko juu haitaweza kufika huko chini. 
Ah. Oh, kwa hivyo kuna kuna vile unaweza soundproof slab. Eh, kuna vile unaweza soundproof. Unajua yeah. nilihama juu kitu ili niambie siku moja huyu jirani atateremka nao watu wake. <laughs> atateremka nao watu wake huku. Ah, ah. kuna venye tu pia unaweza sikia tu sauti sauti. Sawa na mtu anaje anaweza kuja chape na nyundo hivi. Yes. Unajua sasa hiyo utaisikia hapa down kiasi. Yes. Yes. Eh, yes. yes. But yes. sio ati akitembea unasikia. So, mtu akitembea uh, uwefai kusikia. Hiyo ilikuwa ime iko considered. Uh, yes. before up before tuingie sasa kwenye kamera ulikuwa umetuambia vitu mbia vile wase ugongwa yes. kwa sector including na measurements okay. mtu kama eh, ata ukwe mstinji aje lazima watakushika one way or another lazima utashikwa right. as in fundi akiamua kuku fundi ama wase wa sector wakiamua kukushika hata mm. uruke juu rudi chini lazima utapatikana kweli kabisa what are the ways zenye wase wanaweza 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 save cost na bado wajenge kitu quality Uh, unajua mjengo inanga shortcut. Yes. So kitu ya kwanza unaweza unaweza njia ya ku ku save inakuanga kubonga na wasi. Kama umeenda kwa consultant unajaribu kuongea naye at least reduce ka bei kidogo yes. alafu pate the right people. Ukikuwa na the right people ndio utaweza ku save. Lakini kama una the right people utapata nyumba yako umejenga umemaliza alafu ndio uone kama imedunda. Ah. So njia ya kwanza ya ku save cost ni kupata the right the right team. Hiyo ndio hiyo ni kusave hiyo umesave kabisa. Na kuna problem ikipatikana kwa keja mazee hauna bahati kabisa cause mm. eh, landi wangu waemba ni best yes. yangu sana ndio mm-hmm. baba junior. Uh, ali reach out na ilikuwa kitu poa sana akireach out akiniambia eh mazee kuna keja fulani na uzo hapa kitengela. Mm. Ni deal poa sana. Deal poa ilikuwa mansion ilikuwa unaweza 10 million. Eh uh-huh. kwa best yangu. Mbona unaweza 10 million mm-hmm. nikasend ya best yangu anaitwa Caleb Architect akaangalia tu akaniambia ah ndio hii sababu hii keja inauzwa hivi uh-huh. kwa line ya chini ya hiyo keja uh-huh. ilikuwa inatoa maji uh-huh. ilikuwa inatoa maji kwa hizo nini zote so akaniambia hiyo keja haizi correct kitu kama hiyo unless ibomolewe waanze tena sina kuanga hivyo uki make mistake uh, kuna, kuna kama ka foundation kwa foundation ina kuanga tricky sana vitu fai kumes nazo ni vitu ka foundation Uh, kama uko na the right team ukienda kwa structural engineer hata ku guide vizuri venye utafanya vitu issues kama hizo za maji zisitendeke kwa kwa hiyo nyumba unaona lakini sasa wewe ukienda utafute fundi huyo fundi aende atafute watu wa, 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 wa laborers ama uh, skilled laborers wa kuja kwa site waanze kazi bila kukuwa na ile expertise inakuwa itakuwa noma so ukipata issue kama hizo unapata una correct ni expensive sana kuliko ungeanza ngatu na na the right thing na ile ile building inafanya tufanye hiyo hmm. building ya Kino. Yes. Umesema huo msee hizi CV hata kidogo. Eh sasa huyo eh hata hizi tu hizo flow za juu aenda yekele please. Awezi <laughs> <laughs> awezi toa utatoaje flow za juu. Huyo msee kitu unajua kitu sijui kama ali, alifanya but structural engineer alikuwa anafaa mu advice okay. kama ataenda kwa uh, geotechnic geotechnologist yes. uh, wampatie uh, geotechnical report ya hiyo place apime soil ajue load bearing capacity ya hiyo soil kama inaweza beba hizo flow alikuwa ameweka ama haiwezi ndio anze kujenga unaona so kama ali hata hapo hivyo tena unaona ni noma ndio unaona inashuka ama kama alipatiwa hizo vitu zote tena unapata labda wenye walijenga walikuwa namwambia unajenga zile vitu za hii area tunatumianga y10 hii area tunatumianga y12 6 sijui 3 hii area tunatumianga y16 ine So hizo story ka hizo unafauzi uzi avoid through kwenda kwa the right team kama consultant mwenye anajua Kenya anafanya eh, for example structural engineer ah yes na na so ina maanisha kila time unafaa kujenga lazima u test soil uone hii soil kama ina ni, ni muhimu ni muhimu lakini kuna kuongana na reports zenye zimefanywa za hiyo za hiyo area unaweza pata okay eh. so, so ma, ma, na na, na, na hizi ina apply kwa wasi wa gorofa peke yake ama ukiwa na keja yako ndogo wewe pia hakuna haja ya kwenda ku spend do eh, kwenda ku test soil na hiyo ni pesa ya roofing eh wewe fanya tu the right thing uh, unaweza unaweza vania nyumba ni ndogo kwani ni bunga lo ngapi Nairobi zi, ziko na shida si bunga lo moja ama mbili na hiyo ni cheap nikanyumba kadogo tu kaku eh unaamka so unaanza tu kuona makra unakutana na matope azini kija eh wazi eh uwezi kama for example uwezi hata hiyo bungalow uwezi ijenga kwa kama si, eh, kwa black cotton soil unafaa ukata we hiyo black cotton soil ama u change design ya foundation ya hiyo nyumba yako ndio iweze ku, kubebwa na hiyo black cotton soil okay. so kuna kuna vitu tu lazima ufanye watu kama for example wa utawala wanatoanga black cotton soil yote wanachimba unapatana na maram wanaekelea nyumba hapo 
unaona lakini kuna area yenye unapata unaenda kabisa na kama ngong kuna place ngong una chimba una chimba una chimba bado ufiki hard soil hard ground so inabidi you change or redesign una introduce juu raft unaweka sijui inaitwa nini uh, ground ground beams zinaweza kushikilia nyuma yako unaweza chimba na uchimbe na uchimbe unaweza una, una chimba una chimba na ufiki fike kwa shetani na hakuna maana <laughs> <laughs> ah interesting <laughs> So uh, but but mtu ini ya watu wa nyumba ya mawe ukitaka ku avoid stress yote ujenge nyumba ya matope. Juu hapo kuna story ya load bearing capacity. Uh, Mbona ina ka process ngumu sana? In fact one of the curious things ninaweza penda kujua ni tukiwa na njoro hapa kwa show mm. and I believe hii ni kitu watu wengi wanaweza kujua. Yes. Ni ati ukitaka kujenga mm. hau, kuna ati unataka kija 3 million 5 million. Mm. Hautawahi jenga ukingoja ushike hiyo do mm-hmm. ati ndio ujenge si kama una uko guaranteed utaifikisha hizo 5 million ama 3.5 million unaweza enda kwa kupatiwa construction loan unaona ukipewa construction loan utajenga nyumba yote umaliza alafu ulipange ba bank pole pole na kama Unaona? utaki loan kama sasa utaki loan unaweza unaweza jenga mdogo pole pole lakini the right thing but sasa it take long sana weathering inaweza haribu nyumba yako eh hey, mm. so grace period ya kujenga na umalize ni how long ndio si affectiwe na weathering Uh, for example kama umejenga umeka umejenga mawe usimalize ati miaka sijui tano ndio unakuja kuwekelea slab ama kuweka roof unaona mm-hmm. unajipanga uh, unaweza jenga in stages uh, such that ufanye foundation ukoroge slab utulie kiasi yes. ukuje ujenge mawe alafu ukoroge ring beam utulie tena kiasi alafu sasa unaweza kuja uweke roof lakini usikuje ati unakawia saa na miaka moja pia nyumba yako hiyo kutulia ikuange kutaka ni pesa inakuambia anga utatulia mpaka weni. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course of course unakuangana nini? Unakuangana kawa like kawa program, ka program tu ka venye utakuwa unafanya job yako. Na no, no, mtu majipanga. Ushaye na mtu amejenga gorofa. Mm. Ni incomplete una wish, una wish. Si pesa ungejenga nayo bungalow mm-hmm. complete. Ama sasa hapo sasa hapo kuna wenye wao ujichanganya hivyo. Mtu yako na doki dogo, eh? lakini anataka mimi eh, state house eh ma, inakuwa ngumu kwako. Kwa sasa wewe ndio utakuwa tu unalia umeshinda na kumaliza umefanya miaka kumi, yeah. miaka 15 bado waiishi. Yes. Eh, Juwe ni mtu wa ku struggle. Cheza tu kwa level yako. Si lazima uonyeshe watu ati uko na state house. Unaweza jenga kanyumba kadogo tu. Maka kadogo, ka classy, ka kali. Kuliko unaenda unajaribu kitu kubwa, alafu watu wanapata wewe oh, uko kujapigwa plaster, wewe oh, uko kujapigwa paint. Una get i make sense. So cheza tu na level yako. Yeah. Eh, na utaweza kumaliza keja na itakaa fit. Na usta yako niliona kwa video fulani ulifanya, yes. ulienda ukashika mchanga ukasema umsi amenunua mchanga poa. Uh-huh. Ukaenda ukashika koto ukasema kwa koto ni poa, alafu ukaenda ukashika beam. Kajembe ni kazi gani wamefanya? Eh eh hiyo ilikuwa noma. Hiyo 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 howard ilibidi fanywe tukate hadi slab to reinforce tena. Ju client alikuwa fit. Client anajua materials kabisa. Yes. Lakini sasa workmanship ndio ilileta issue. Unaona. Okay. Yeye anakuja na anakorogewa, anaambiwa anaambiwa wamekoroga vizuri, but sasa juu hajui anadhania wamekoroga vizuri but ni vibaya. Kama kukoroga kokoto kuna ratios zenye unafaa utumie. Uweki tu kokoto mchanga, kokoto mchanga. Ukienda mtaani unaona anga wakirusha tu ndoo, wakirusha ndoo mm. kabla mix washamwaga. Yes, Unaona? Yes, yes. So ufai kufanya hivyo, kuna venye inafai, kuna ka process kana faka fuatu eh. Ndio at least simiti, mchanga na kokoto zi mix vizuri hata ikitoka ikikuwa kipest vizuri ikienda iwekelewe kwa slab ama kwa kolam inatoka kitu iko fit na iko, iko strong kuna mtu anajenga saa hii kuna vile ukiangalia hata hizo vile ulikuwa unashika hiyo hiyo beam kolam ni yeah. kolam okay sawa kolam <laughs> <laughs> kuna vile unaweza fanya ujue kama mafundi wako wanafanya job mm. ama ni lazima uko na expert uh, kuna ile unaweza fanya tu hapo local ku, kama, kama kitu fulani nisema kama unaona kokoto mm. that's a mistake Mm. Ufai kwa kuna vitu zinaitwa honeycomb. Honeycomb ni ile unaona kokoto mchanga alafu unaona chuma huko ndani. Unaona okay, unaona yes. unaona unaweza ona hii ni kokoto. Yes. Unaweza ona ile ni chuma. So hizo yes. ni honeycomb. Ufai kuona ati unaona kokoto unafaa uone ni like kitu smooth tu kama paste tu. Yes. Kitu smooth kabisa. So ukianza kuona hizo kuna shida. Na zina kuanga mob. Ni area mob unaweza pata ziko na honeycombs. But pia kuna njia za kusolve hizo honeycombs. Unaweza pata contractor alikuwa amekoroga vizuri kila kitu. Eh? Lakini sasa kuna shida mahali labda vibrator haikufika unapata kuna honeycomb. Ali vibrator haikufika. So, eh so unaweza <laughs> <laughs> unaweza kata. <laughs> <laughs> unaweza kata hiyo kama ni beam maybe kidogo 
alafu yeah. kuna products zenye unaweza tumia kusili hizo honeycombs okay uh, unaweza juaje estimate ya kujenga haujagongwa kwa sababu kugongwa ndio mob mm. juu niliambiwa mostly fundi ya kikujengia gorofa mm. kuna gorofa yake pia anaamsha mahali <laughs> sio wote uh, kitu unaweza do una, na i would urge wase wote wafanye kuna kitu inaitwa uh, construction cost per square meter labda in Nairobi ama in Kenya uki google uh, construction cost in Kenya itakuambia between for example 35000 to yes. 70000 Yes. Eh? So kama wewe umejengewa nyumba alafu iko labda huku chini kuna vitu labda umejaribu ku, ku save save unaona but uh, construction cost iko iko kila mahali unaweza yes. jua ni between we, wapi hadi wapi kama ni high end inafika 70000 per square meter na inaweza enda hata kabisa unaona kama ni za mtaa unaweza pata iko hapo 35000 30000 yes. hapo hivyo Okay. No, no. Eh, eh, na hiyo kitu tumesema ni poa yes. kuna mtu alikuwa ameanza kujenga na 70000 per square meter mm. alafu covid ka happen mm. akarudi kwa 30000 per square meter yes. akitaka ku save yes. nilikuwa naongea na dem best yangu anaitwa Frida anafanya hizo yes. mabiashara kuna time hata nilipost kwa mtandao anafanya biashara ya construction nilikuwa na consult naye about cement akaniambia kama umeanza foundation na cement expensive kuna different types of cement uh, oh, kama umefanya foundation na cement cheap ati wewe ulibai tu simiti juni simiti alafu Mungu akubariki sasa umepata simiti expensive kunamalizia utaribu nyumba is that true uh, simiti zinakujanga na class yes so unaweza enda ununue simiti yenye iko class iko kuna 32.5 kuna 42.5 alafu sasa kuna za wazito zinafika CG 52.5 uh, kama umejenga nyumba yako na any simiti yoyote unafaa urudi labda kwa manufacturer au wenye wanatengeneza hizo simiti yes. uchukue uende labda labu testiwe kama iko poa unaona juwezi sema ati umejenga huko foundation ushajenga usha ushafunika so there is no way utaweza kusaidika ushajenga ushafunika so hiyo simiti imetumika imetumika yes huku juu kitumia expensive pia iko sawa but kama ya chini ilikuwa iko na shida eh yes. utapata sasa nyumba yako eh, juu ya labda settlement nini unaona hizo vitu kaka kraka iko tu na mambo eh but simiti zinakuwa unaweza test unaweza test strength ya cement kuna njia za kutest so so nyumba pia ni kitu ya kupelekwa lab kwenda kutest <laughs> sio nyumba ni materials zenye unatumia kama naweza kupea example ya chuma yes eh, chuma uki ukinunua chuma unafaa unakata ka piece ka off cut yes eh? kama ni y10 y12 y16 unakata tu pieces hizo pieces unapeleka kwa lab. Ukipeleka kwa lab itakukost kama za tano. Eh, inafanywa tensile strain. Waone kama eh, iko na nguvu ya kutosha kulingana na venye manufacturer amesema. So ikivuruto hivi inaanza kuvurutika kaa gum inaanza kukuwa tena ni ni noma. So kuna wasi wanauza chuma, ni chuma tu inakaa chuma. Chuma inakaa chuma, kila kila iko ribbed kabisa. So unazita deformed bars iko kabisa inaona yenyewe hii ni chuma kabisa but mm. sasa strength yake wewe uwezi jua kama ni mwananchi hawezi jua mm. na mtu akona doa anataka kwenda hiyo hasara ya labda hiyo 5k yaende apimiwe mm. ndio ataweza kujua ukweli kama ni hii kampuni iko poa ama ni ile ama ni ile ah. eh, so ni poa tu fanya fanya we, toboka tu kidogo uangalie hiyo chuma unauziwa na what's your general advice kwa mse anataka kuanza kujenga basi especially in the wake of kugongwa yenye au fikiri umegongwa yeah. uko na nyumba yenye unaishi na itakuja kuku surprise siku moja yenye tuseme earthquake may happen ama kitu mbaya ime happen mm. what's the advice kwa mse mse kwa huyo anaweza mwambia wewe ume save ume save umefikisha sijui 10 million 7 million ni do poa unaweza jenga nayo usianze kujifanya wewe ndio structural engineer jumuai ona sijui kazini yako akijenga ama eh, youtube pati eh, anaume umeenda youtube ati unajifunza kujenga eh. wewe kama wewe ni tuseme for example wewe ni accountant umeweza kutafuta do umepata alafu wewe sasa unataka kujifanya wewe ni for ni for man kwa site sasa unaweza jiendea material yes. unaenda sijui wapi ile kitu unaweza mu advice hiyo do chunga inaweza lost wewe fanya hivi tafuta kwanza consultant hmm? for example wanalipishanga na percentage of construction cost. So consultant ataku, kama ni architect akuchorea nyumba kali eh, atakulipisha labda 3%, 2%, tunaona. Uh, utoke hapo uende kwa structural engineer akuchorea, unaona? Au wote wataku cost like 5% of the total cost ya ya nyumba yako. Yes. Kama tu, tuseme nyumba yako ilikuwa ya 5 million. Uh, 5% itakuwa 
to 50,000 ndio yes, yes. so ikikuwa 250,000 utakuwa umeweza ku save hii 5 million yako uiongeze 250,000 umeweza ku save hiyo do yote lakini sasa wewe ukienda ati unajifanya sasa we unajuanga watu juu anajenga hata wewe unaenda kuanza kujenga yes. na unafuata fuata mafundi hivi kuna yes. vitu wa ujui kuna vitu wa structural engineer ataona kuna kitu wa architect ataona wewe hauwezi ona juu wewe unakuanga labda accountant yes. eh? wacha yes. kila mtu akae kwa field yake eh? patia the right people kazi yenye inafaa mm. asante sana akona info kabisa si ndio wapi makofi yake <laughs> asante sana kevo asante karibu tena na tena